Hello my dear viewers, listeners and students. Welcome to Fahad's tutorial once again. And this video or this tutorial is the basic of chemistry is about modern periodic table. And you know that students of English versions and also in all level students, when we study chemistry, the, the, the essence of chemistry and the beauty should arise from this chapter is because when a student can understand periodic table completely and the properties of elements that is placed in this modern periodic table then understanding the nature of the elements and how it will react with each other and the entire chemistry will 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 like look like easier for a student so that is why I am giving you much more importance that in this case you should you should emphasize your effort to understand periodic table completely as because you know that when you understand the elements is placed in this periodic table because this is not about the achievements of one day or even the effort of one scientist hundred of years was needed to tireless efforts of various scientists give the shape of modern periodic table and we need to know the background or the history of periodic table because you know that this chapter requires lots of series of tutorial to make you understand the insight of the periodic table i was thinking to upload at least seven videos or seven tutorials on this chapter because in ssc chemistry students of english version you know that in your chemistry book it is in chapter four and it has a lot of things inside so this class is about the background or the history of periodic table and i request you all that who are watching this video please put your mind fresh and then try to understand each and every lines of the chapter so that you can understand and you can have the essence of chemistry and it will feel good so since the background since like more than like 1789 till today various scientists and give the tireless efforts to make it shape so if you see this i hope you will you will feel that you, you already see that and there 118 elements are there and if you look at it, then you need to think that how the elements were placed in different different positions and what is the meaning and how it was organized if you see the background at first you need to know that in 1789 in 1789 Antoni Lavoisier at first tried to divide it into uh, the elements into two different things like metals and non-metals in metals that again are divided things like that it should be the superior metal or noble metal and this is more reactive metal or inferior metal so at first Lavoisier divided Lavoisier, Tony Lavoisier tried to divide it elements into two groups that is metal and non-metal so first first effort to make some organizations into the elements comes from this Antonio Lavoisier. so in 1789 then after then after in 1829 1829 Doberiner comes with another new idea which is called Doberiner's law of triads and that is important in your question paper you may have this question that what is law of triads so triads means three elements together so what is the theory of Doberiner? Doberiner stated that if the elements are arranged according to their mass relative atomic mass and of course you know what is relative atomic mass because in my previous class I already uploaded this relative atomic mass and relative molecular mass and of course I know that you know that what is uh, relative atomic mass so then Doberiner stated that if elements are arranged according to their relative atomic mass then if we took three elements together three elements suppose I can say that lithium sodium and potassium huh? see these three elements together lithium lithium sodium and potassium 
See in a group, suppose. So Duberino stated that if according to mass it's arranged, then the mean mass of first and third elements would be the equal mass of the second elements. So he said that that suppose what we know that the atomic mass of lithium is 7 and potassium is near about 39.1 suppose so if we add these two atomic mass together 39 plus 7 and if I divide it 2 as it is a mean mass then it would be 23 which is the atomic mass of sodium so this is actually the law of triads what Doberiner said? Doberiner said if elements are arranged according to their mass and if we took any three elements then three elements then the atomic mean atomic mass among these three the mean atomic mass of first and third atomic mean atomic mass would be equal to the second so like this so we know that the atomic mass of lithium is 7 and potassium is 39.1 so if we arrange it then we'll got sodium as 23 this is law of triads so i hope you understand what is law of triads so if the question is what is the Dubrainer's law of triads special english version student you know that this question is very common at your, at your question paper so you will state that according to the mass if the elements are arranged then the mean mass of first and third elements would be equal to the second element and then in 1864 what was the thing like john a r newland he comes with the theory of uh, law of octate so what's that law of octave in some cases written law of octave so law of octave means means accordingly atomic mass if elements are arranged according to their increasing atomic mass and if at any eighth eight elements besides then the the physical and chemical properties of the first element would be equal to equivalent to the physical and chemical properties of eighth elements so that means each and every eighth element he got a relationship, he got a similarities in case of phys physical and chemical properties. And that is called the Newland Octet Law. So if we arranged like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, so each and every element's physical and chemical properties are similar with the eighth element of that series. So according to the increasing mass, when elements are arranged, the physical and chemical properties of eighth element is equal to the first element and that is the Newland law of octet and these two laws are very important as because in your question paper you may have experiences with these questions students of uh, Carrot College and student of English versions you know that if this chapter is in your syllabus you must understand you must know that what are the laws of octet and what are the law of triads so in case of law of triads it invented by Doberiner in case of law of octet it invented by Newland so we say that Doberiner's law of triads and, and Newland's law of octet and then what happened Russian scientist Dmitry Ivanovich Mendeleev invented the periodic law and that is more important because as we know that number of scientists will uh, like contributed with their tireless efforts to make this shape in modern periodic table though Mendeleev is determined as a uh, as said as a father of periodic table as because he invented one thing that is periodic law and it has two version the old periodic law and revised periodic law because of in between these two things 1930 you need to understand that Henry G. S. Mosley invented atomic number when it was invented then 
Mendeleev's periodic law should be revised. Why? Because previously, when in 1869, Mendeleev stated the periodic law as that if, the statement is that if the elements were arranged according to their mass, atomic mass. So this is important. It was first atomic mass. Mass. He was saying that in case of old periodic law, the statement was if the elements were arranged according to their atomic mass, then physical and chemical properties repeat periodically. It means that if each and every element are arranged according to their mass, not the number, mass, then, then the physical and chemical properties repeat periodically, which was not true until the invention of atomic number. As because when in 1913, Sir Henry Mosley invented atomic number, then this periodic law were required to revise then what was the revised periodic law that is if if the elements are arranged according to their atomic number then the word is come like atomic number number then then after the physical and chemical properties of the elements repeats periodically what was the problem in this statement? What was the problem when uh, Dimitri Mendeleev said about the periodic law in case of atomic mass? The problem was here. You see, kindly please, that in case of argon and in case of potassium, we see that, see the, see the chronology like sodium, magnesium, aluminum, silicon, phosphorus, sulfur, chlorine, argon and potassium. I'm coming with these thoughts later on, but now I need to give you some understanding that why atomic mass was not accepted. Why the revised atomic model has come with the atomic number as because you see after sulfur was chlorine. Because we know that atomic mass of sulfur is 32 and atomic mass of chlorine is 35.5. We know it. Like a atomic number of atomic mass of phosphorus is 31, of silicon is 28. So if we see the chronology, this is 28, this is 31, this is 32, this is 35.5. So it was increasing. Okay. But in case of argon, the atomic mass of argon is 39.1. Sorry, 9. 39.9 which is almost 40 and in case of potassium it's 39.1 so so and it, and it was inv invented earlier so if we need to arrange these elements according to their atomic mass then after chlorine in this space it should be potassium because potassium's atomic mass is less than argon so if we need to arrange these atomic uh, elements according to their atomic mass then after chlorine here should be potassium and here should be argon which is not actually the, um, the principle or the purpose of periodic table because if there should be like if there is argon then it will be in group 1 which is actually the metal group the metal group so this metal group argon is not metal argon is a noble gas or inert gas so if argon is here and if potassium will be here then potassium is in a group of inert gas but potassium is a metal is not a gas is not an inert gas so here we need the, the chronology and the purpose of the periodic table is not right so that is why according to the mass was not right so argon 39.9 is there 39.1 is after argon because potassium should be in group 1 as an alkali metal and argon should be there as inert gas or even one thing like this in case of tellurium and iron 
This is 127 and this is 126. In case of tellurium and iodine, if I am not wrong, if you see the chronology of tellurium and iodine as according to atomic mass, if all the elements were arranged, then iodine should be before tellurium. But it's against a false state. It will be a mistake because iodine should not be in group 16. It should be in group 17 as because this group 17 is halogen. So fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, this group is about halogen. So here iodine should not be in group number 16, it should be in group number 17. Though the atomic mass of iodine is less than uh, atomic mass of tellurium. So according to the atomic mass arrangements, the, uh, the atomic mass of iodine is less than tellurium, so it should be here. But tellurium is not here. Tellurium in group number 16 and iodine is in group number 17 though the atomic mass of iodine is less than the atomic mass of tellurium so that is why the atomic mass arrangements were not accepted so after the invention of atomic number revised periodic law was come up and that is that if all the elements were arranged according to their atomic number then the physical and chemical properties of elements will repeat periodically so that is the modern periodic table and that is the modern periodic or revised periodic law so in this tutorial i was trying to make you understand that why periodic table is important to know and what is the history of periodic table as you know that it's not an one day invention it was not in one scientist contributions it was about a series of days and series of scientist contribution and then we got this periodic table and this is a very little about the history if you if you're digging about the history of periodic table you will have lots of information i just tried to give you according to the books according to the syllabus and that is why each and every information was limited but if you go further study if you if you search google and if you study articles then you know that there are a lot of things in case of background of uh, periodic table so right now i just wrote only five years uh, inventions in case of 1789 about antony lavishi of dividing the metals and non-metals and in case of 1829 uh, Dobereiner about law of triads. You understand what is law of triads? In 1864 about John A. R. Newland about the law of octet, and then you know about 1869 Dmitry Ivanovich Mendeleev, who is considered as father of periodic table, so modern periodic table, and then because of invented the periodic law, and then what happened after the invention of atomic number, the periodic law was. Well, need to be needed to be revised and then it come up with the revised periodic table and you see why why periodic law was needed to revise because you see it was earlier about atomic mass but in according to atomic mass these arrangements and these arrangements were not right so then the revised periodic law was come up with the atomic number so i hope you understand what i exactly say try to say and then in the next video i shall come up with the characteristics of periodic table and then the third video would be about uh, the nature of elements and how we can identify the positions of an elements in periodic table from the electron configurations of that elements so see you on that class please keep watching this video and do let me know your recommendations stay well stay blessed Bye.